Hey everyone, Screaming Geek Media here. I am Jerry the Geek. Today we're going to talk about Dragonheart on 4K. Uh, but before we do, if you like physical media, 4Ks, Blu-rays, DVDs, you know, home theater, anything movie related, uh, please check out my other videos on my channel. Like, subscribe, and turn your bell notifications on. So let's uh, jump right in, talking about uh, the 4K edition of Dragonheart. You know, the movie originally came out in 1991. Uh, Dennis Quaid, Dinah Meyer, Sean Connery plays the voice of Draco, um, Pete Postlewaite, um, David Thewlis, and uh, Jason Isaacs, and some other supporting actors that you see in a lot of other movies. And of course, it was directed by uh, Rob Cohen, who also brought us uh, you know, the original Triple X with Vin Diesel, the original Fast and the Furious. I remember seeing this at the theater, and it's always been one of my favorites. I've always loved it. Even holds up today. Even you know, being in '96, you're three years after Jurassic Park, so you're still in the early stages of CGI. And still, I mean, it's, it's a remarkable how good this looks. Or even back in the day, I mean, how good it looked when you know being so new. There are some stuff now that you know it's not. You can tell there's not quite perfect. There are scenes that look perfection. So there are some inconsistencies with the CGI, but overall still looks pretty damn good to this day. And of course, the music score was done by Randy Edelton, and it was phenomenal. I mean, I, he, I mean, he reminds you of composers, you know, John Williams, Jerry Goldsmith, James Horner, Hans Zimmer. A good composer is able to bring out emotions in you. You know, while you're watching a movie and make you feel what they feel. And this one's no exception. There's, you know, you, there's scenes where it really pulls at your heartstrings, especially at the end when Draco dies and as he's uh, going up into the stars and you see everybody and just kind of really gets to you. It's really well done. Now this 4K release comes from Shout Factory. It just came out a week or a couple weeks ago. This is something I've been waiting for for 4K ever since I got into 4K three years ago. Because uh, I've always loved this movie. I bought it first on Laserdisc, had it on DVD, got it on HD DVD, but never picked it up on Blu-ray. Just kind of kept holding off for some reason. So I'm glad to finally have it on 4K. I've been waiting for it for a long time. You know, movie was shot on 35mm. Um, finished with HDR10 and Dolby Vision. And man, this really, it exceeded my expectations. You know, I was expecting a lot from 4K. And come from Shout, even if you're expecting, you know, they set a, the bar pretty high on their releases. This one looks phenomenal out of the gate. You know, solid colors. You begin the, the castle ruins that they're, um, Bowen and Einan is uh, training at. You see the details of the castle stand out. You know, the the whites on different shades. The blue sky. There's a lot that really stands out, even just from the opening scene. Then when you get to the, when they go to the battle scene, um, it's, you see from a distance, you see all the horses um, coming across the field and you can just see all the dust being kicked up from the horses. Like, I don't I don't ever remember that. Clothing textures really pop here. And when the king gets killed and Einan is uh, stooped down, he goes to take the crown from him. And there's a close-up of Einan. You can see the textures of the clothing, the stitching. You know, you know those details really pop on this. And with Draco, I never... There's a lot more different color tones in the patterns of textures on his skin that I've never noticed before. Even the one scene when he, he spreads his wings, you see all the textures of spots, the patterns on the underside of the wings. I never remember that. It's popping like it did. The scene when they capture Kara and she's uh, and Ayn goes down to they're in the castle and he uh, goes down to talk to her and you can actually see their breath that was pretty cool, you know. I don't, that's another thing I never picked up on before. And at the end, when they're getting ready for the last big battle, they're in the castle, and Einan his chainmail 
phenomenal rendering there. I think in the past I just always thought it was just kind of a rusty looking chain mail. But here you can actually tell it's not just, it's actually painted. You know, there's actually a pattern on the chain mail itself. It's a nice deep contrast throughout. You know, showing the, the whites really leap off the screen here. You know, at the, uh, early on when they're, um, Einan's showing up he, on his white horse and all the bridal stuff on a horse, you know, it's pure white. And it pops compared to the other, you know, the black and the brown horses in this scene. And later on in the movie, the, the sheep and the whites, like I said, the whites really pop on this. That is incredible. This, this video presentation is simply stunning. I didn't compare the Blu-ray because they use the same 4K scan on it, so I doubt there's a whole lot of difference with it. Probably just a little bit minor upticks in the detail for the 4K. So we'll just check out some screenshots of the 4K here. We'll come back and talk about the audio bonus and the packaging, and we'll see you in a couple minutes. Now for the audio, they gave us a DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 and a 2.0 track. And I did compare the, you know, two and very well done all throughout. Even the 2.0 is, you know, nice and solid and well balanced. But the 5.1 just took it to a whole nother level. This is a movie you do want to, you will appreciate the 5.1 track because the surrounds are used a lot, and there's a lot of separation from the front and back and left and right. And then the bass, oh my god, the bass during the, the fireball explosions and tents, it'll really shake the house or apartment or wherever the hell you're living. Now, a scene that's always been a favorite for audio on every format, even back on Laserdisc, the first time they get together and get some money, some of the gold, and afterwards, the when Draco's flying around Bowen, you can you know you can hear, you know Draco's voice and the sound effects of the wings flapping, circling you around the room. So that's always been my favorite scene of the movie. Every time this comes out in a new format, and this was no exception. And I think it actually gives you a little bit more. Now they're early on when they're in a the cave. The um, when they're uh, get, having Draco heal uh, Einan's uh, injury in his chest. As Draco fires into his chest, you hear it come from your over your shoulder, from your left back. You can hear it come from that corner over and into his chest. Echoes inside the caves. And after Kara's captures, you know, in the castle, and, uh, Queen Aislinn actually goes to help her escape. And they go down to the, the bowels of the castle to let her, let her out. And you just see all the stone arches and you, you hear the echoes of the, just the slight water and water dripping here and there. Nice, crisp, and clear. And again, the dialogue is clear throughout. And Draco's heartbeat when he goes to expose himself to uh, Einan and, and the later on in the movie when he lifts up the chest and he just feel the thumping of the heartbeat. In the end, at the during the whole fight sequence in the in the castle, and it gets pretty quiet and also and during the, those quiet moments you can actually hear 
some of the fire, the flames flickering in the background. So that's why I love those little subtle sounds as well. So damn good audio track here. Very impressive. Even for not having Dolby Atmos, this DTS-51 is incredible. So for the packaging, it comes out a standard keep case. I didn't get a slip cover for mine because I got a deal on eBay, so the seller might have kept it. I've heard they, they exist, but apparently most of the places do not have them. But a different art, nice different artwork on either the Blu-ray and a 4K. No reversible cover art, which is surprising from Shell. They didn't go that extra step. Now for the bonus features, we have an audio commentary with director Rob Cohen. Um, also, we have the making of Dragonheart, outtakes, and theatrical trailers. So not a whole lot there. So to wrap it up, the Shop Factory knocked it out of the park with this. As long as I've been, you know, I've been waiting for this forever, and it was worth the wait. It was incredible. I'm glad that, you know, these studios, you know, there's so many titles they have in their back catalog. They can't handle doing everything themselves. They're willing to license out the, the titles to the, the boutique labels like, you know, Shout, Kino, Lorber, Criterion, Vinegar Syndrome. So I'm hoping Disney will follow suit and start doing the same thing since they're wanting uh, want to jump back into physical media. So if you don't have this, I highly recommend picking this up. Incredible. Um, Amazon right now is $24, $25. I picked this up on eBay um, with shipping and tax, $19. So I saved a really good bundle there. I'm always checking for deals. That's the only downside with the boutique labels is our prices are a little higher. So I'm always shopping on eBay and looking for those uh, cheaper deals with, you know, sometimes sellers don't have a... They'll keep a slip cover or they'll keep the digital code, which is fine by me. I don't need that stuff. I just want the bare bones movie, good shape, give me a good deal, and I'm happy. So that pretty much does it for my uh, take on 4K of Dragonheart. Uh, please check out my other videos on my channel. Like, subscribe, and turn your bell notifications on because I'm... I cut in and I've been doing a, my a Transformers series, so I couldn't wait to watch this. I had to watch it and get it out of the way. And so next I'll jump back in and finish up my Transformers, hopefully in the next couple of days. So keep a lookout for those, and we'll see you soon. Geek out!